tonight on a retired Baltimore City officer facing child molestation charges. He will not fight extradition from Washington, D.C. to Maryland. Police say his wife, who owns a daycare in Owings Mills, shot him during a confrontation about the abuse at a D.C. hotel. WGC investigator Mike Kelvin is live on Charles Street, where he just spoke to the wife's lawyer. He has the eye-opening new interview. Mike. Vic Denise, he says that she's no danger and he plans to ask for her release on Friday. He tells me that it was a second allegation of abuse where a mom came directly to the daycare owner uh, that caused her to immediately get in her car and drive to D.C. and confront her husband. Here he was, her husband accused of molesting multiple children in her daycare facility. So this was extremely emotional. This was like a, a sort of brick through a window of your soul. Tony Garcia represents Shantari Weems, the Baltimore County daycare owner who shot her husband, retired Baltimore City police officer James Weems, in a Washington, D.C. hotel last week after questioning him about molesting children at her facility in Owings Mills. On that day, there was an allegation of a child. A child's mother actually came and told her face to face. This is what your husband did to my child. She went to confront him, hoping against hope that, you know, there will be some way that he could explain it away, that there will be some way that there's no way. She didn't want to kill him, but she would not allow him to injure another child on her watch, not in her watch. Garcia says his client has a legal permit to carry a weapon and claims the shooting was self-defense. Doors closed, the two of them are in the room, She's making the allegations. When confronted with a second child, he charged to her, and she had to defend herself. And unfortunately, she shot him twice. New D.C. court documents show James Weems will not fight extradition to Maryland, where police say he's now facing charges for molesting three children. Garcia says his client has this message to those who put their trust in her daycare. There's a lot of mothers and parents out there who are afraid right now because they don't know whether their child is not telling them something, that something happened to them, or that they saw something, and she's sorry. She wanted to make sure that that man will never harm another child. And we were unable to reach an attorney or any representative for James Weems today. More of that interview coming up at 6. Hi, guys. The video that I just showed you um, about the little kid's castle daycare, that's owned by Shintari Reams or Shintari Reams I'm not sure if I'm saying her name or pronouncing her name correctly but I just wanted to bring this video up because it's just unfortunate that something like this happens and I feel like this is something that happens a lot this is not something that we've heard for the first time about children being sexually assaulted and abused something is always happening to a child out here when they're being left in the care of others and it's unfortunate that this has happened to not one, not two, but three children. We don't even know if there's more children that this man has sexually assaulted. But it's just that what is um, recently was brought to the light was that three mothers or the parents have approached her to tell her that their children were sexually assaulted. And she took matters to her own hands and she traveled from Baltimore all the way to Washington DC to approach her husband which turned out to be a very bad situation because she could have called the cops she could have did anything but instead of her calling the police she tried to handle it on her own and she pretty much approached her husband I guess it didn't go well from what the news footage is saying that it got out of control in self-defense she shot him now she's held in custody or held until further action which Thank goodness she has lawyers involved to help her with this matter so they can find a way to settle the situation in her behalf and really iron out whatever's going on. But I just hope that justice does get served for what has happened. And we don't know the status of her husband. They didn't mention anything about him or what is going on with him. But it's just sad because whatever's going on we're gonna find out more there'll be more to this story and we will hear more about this and there'll be a continuation of this in regards to what is going to happen with her and what is the status of the husband but i just wanted to leave my thoughts and opinions and i my opinions are that i just feel like we don't know if this is the first time this has taken place 
We don't know how many children he could have sexually assaulted, but for him to just freely do this is just crazy and it's unacceptable. And I feel no child is safe. And as parents and as adults, our responsibility is to protect and take care of children and to not put them in harm's way. And these mothers, they thought that they was putting their child in a safe place. They didn't think that this would happen to their child, but for this to happen, it's devastating. And I really, you know, hope and pray that the families are, you know, doing all right and that they need time to heal and just hopefully everything works out and justice gets served for what has happened. But I definitely want to end this video and um, I want to say feel free to like, subscribe, share, and comment on the story. And um, if there's more to the story, I may probably make another part to this. Um, but I just wanted to just mention my thoughts and feelings on the situation and the matter. And just want to say, you know, you got to be careful because no child is safe. And the best thing, thing you could do as an adult is to protect your children as much as possible. But I definitely want to say, you know, thanks for tuning in. And have a great day. Be safe. Be well.